drug prohibition is the biggest failed policy in the history of the United States of America, second only to slavery. We arrested over 800,000 Americans last year, 90% of them for simply possessing a little marijuana. Many police officers, many prosecutors ask themselves the question, what are we accomplishing here? We have an opportunity now to change course. What we're here today to do is to celebrate the fact that 355,000 voters signed the petition to put I-502 Lies! 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 This is an elaborate hoax. They're talking about millions and billions of dollars in tax money, but they know it's not going to happen. The drug war started in the United States. It spreads around the world like a cancer, and this is where it has to end. It has to be killed here. In the city of Seattle, we have it amazing. Everyone's smoking cannabis, and there's nothing wrong with it. Why do we want to change that? We're legalizing it. You're putting more youth at risk. At risk. I should be able to smoke, especially if I can vote for it. We want to err on the side of public safety. The people that are working to pass I-502, they're trying to do something historic. There is a national strategy involved in it. I think the message will go across the United States and reach Washington, D.C. The voters in Washington State said, yes, we want legalization. What makes me sick is, of course, they didn't get legalization. Other states will see the wisdom in this and will look back and see this is indeed a turning point.